1897. An agreement between two or more persons to defraud a person of his rights by the forms of law or to obtain an object forbidden by law. For that reason, this office's focus in resolving the question of joint criminal liability was on conspiracy as defined in federal law, not the commonly discussed term, collusion. The office considered in particular whether contacts between Trump campaign officials and Russia-linked individuals could trigger liability for the crime of conspiracy, either under statutes that have their own conspiracy language or under the general conspiracy statute. The investigation did not establish that the contacts between the Volume 1, Section 4 amounted to an agreement to commit any substantive violation of federal criminal law including foreign influence and campaign finance laws, both of which are discussed further below. The office therefore did not charge any individual associated with the Trump campaign and conspiracy to commit a federal offense arising from Russia contacts, either under a specific statute or under Section 371's Offenses Clause. The office also did not charge any campaign official or associate with a conspiracy under Section 371's Defraud Clause. The clause criminalizes participating in an agreement or obstruct lawful function of the U.S. government or its agencies through deceitful or dishonest means. The investigation did not establish any agreement among campaign officials or between such officials and Russia-linked individuals to interfere with or obstruct a lawful function of a government agency during the campaign or transition period. And, as discussed in Volume 1, Section 5, the investigation did not identify evidence that any campaign official or associate knowingly and intentionally participated in the conspiracy to defraud that the office charged, namely the active measures conspiracy described in Volume 1, Section 2. Accordingly, the office did not charge any campaign associate or other U.S. person with conspiracy to defraud the United States based on the Russia-related contacts described in Section 4 above. 2. Potential Coordination Foreign Agent Statutes, FARA the office next assessed the potential liability of campaign-affiliated individuals under federal statutes regulating actions on behalf of or work done for a foreign government. A. Governing law. Under 18 United States Code Section Code 951, it is generally illegal to act in the United States as an agent of foreign government without providing notice to the Attorney General. Although the defendant must act on behalf of a foreign government, as to opposed to other kinds of foreign entities. The acts need not involve espionage, rather acts of any type suffice for liability. An agent of a foreign government is an individual who agrees to operate in the United States subject to the direction or control of foreign government or official. A crime defined by Section 951 is complete upon knowing acting in the United States as an unregistered foreign government agent. The statute does not require willfulness and knowledge of the notification requirement and is not an element of the offense. The Foreign Regist Agents Registration Act FARA, generally makes it illegal to act as an agent of foreign principal by engaging in certain largely political activities in the United States with without registering the, with the Attorney General. The triggering agency relationship must be with a foreign principal or a person any of whose activities are directly or indirectly supervised, directed, controlled, financed, or subsidized in whole or in major part by a foreign principal. That includes a foreign government or political party and various foreign individuals and entities. A covered relationship exists if a person acts as an agent, representative, employee, or servant, or in any other capacity at the order, request, or under the foreign principal's direction or control. It is sufficient if the person agrees, consents, assumes, or purports to act as, or who is, or holds himself out to be, whether or not pursuant to contractual relationship, an agent of a foreign principal. The triggering activity is that the agent directly or through any other person in the United States, one, engages in political activities, four, or intersects of the foreign principal, which includes attempts 
to influence federal officials or the public. Two, acts as a public relations counsel, publicity agent, information service employee, or political consultant for or in the interest of such foreign principles. Three, collects, disperses, or dispenses contributions, loans, money, or other things of value for or in the intent interest of such foreign principal or for represents the interests of such foreign principal before any federal agency or official. It is a crime in a willful violation of any provision of the act or any regulation thereunder. It is also a crime willfully to make false statements or omissions of material facts in fire registration statements or supplements. Most violations have a maximum penalty of five years imprisonment and a $10,000 fine. B. Application. The investigation uncovered extensive evidence of Paul Manfort's and Richard Gates' pre-campaign work for the government of the Ukraine violated FARA. Manfort and Gates were charged for that conduct and admitted to it when they pleaded guilty to the suspending criminal information to, in the District of Columbia prosecution. The evidence underlying those charges is not addressed in this report because it was discussed in public court documents and in a separate persecution memorandum submitted to the acting attorney general before the original indictment in that case. In addition, the investigation produced evidence of FARA violations involving Michael Flynn. Those potential violations, however, concerned a country other than Russia, i.e. Turkey, and was resolved when Flynn admitted to the underlying facts in the statement of offenses that accompanied his guilty plea to a false Statement charge, statement of offense, United States versus Michael T. Flynn, number one, colon 17, CR 232, December 1st, 2007. Document four, Flynn statement of offense. Subtext, harm to ongoing matter. The investigation did not, however, yield evidence sufficient to sustain any charge that any individual affiliated with the Trump campaign acted as an agent of a foreign principal within the meaning of FARA or in terms of Section 951 subject to the direction or control of the government of Russia or any official thereof. In particular, the office did not find evidence likely to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that campaign officials such as Paul Manfort, George Papadopoulos, and Carter Page acted as agents of the Russian government or at its direction, control, or request during the relevant time period. This part is left out due to personal privacy. <clears throat> On four occasions, the Foreign Intelligence, Intelligence Surveillance Court, FISC, issued warrants based on finding of possible clause to believe that Page was an agent of foreign power. As a result, the office did not charge. This is omitted for personal privacy. Any other Trump campaign official with violating FARA in Section 951 or attempting to con or conspiring to do so based on contracts with Russian government or Russian principal. Finally, the office investigated whether one of the above campaign advisors, George Papadopoulos, acted as an agent of or at the direction and control of the government of Israel while the investigation revealed significant ties between Papadopoulos and Israel and search warrants were obtained in part or on that basis, the office ultimately determined that the evidence was not sufficient to obtain and sustain a convention on a conviction under FARA or Section 951. Three, campaign finance. <clears throat> Several areas of the office's investigation involved efforts or offers by foreign nationals 
to provide negative information about candidate Clinton to the Trump campaign or to distribute that information to the public to the anticipated benefit of the campaign, as explained below, the office considered whether two of those efforts in particular, the June 9th, 2016 meeting at Trump, uh, 